right now at 11 o'clock and live on the Channel 3 streaming news app. Brand new developments in the fight against the coronavirus. The number of cases continues to rise here in Connecticut. At this hour, we know that close to 27,000 people in our state have been infected, and sadly, more than 2,100 have died. But the number of people being treated at the hospital is going down, which is a good sign. But to keep that trend going, medical workers need the protective gear to stay safe. And tonight, the state says we are doing a good job of getting that PPE to frontline responders. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell begins our team coverage tonight. He's talking with those responders to find out what the reality is on the ground. And Matthew, what did you learn? Well, Aaron, we spoke with the head of an EMS organization, and he says it's still very dicey for workers, but things are better than before. It's always encouraging to hear the governor's team announce more shipments of critical gear. Got over three and a half million surgical masks and hundreds of thousands of N95s. Tonight, we're fact checking that with Bob Ziegler, the president of Emergency Resource Management. His crews respond to emergencies in 15 cities and towns in the state. They have been um, getting a little easier to obtain. But he highlights problems in the distribution process. Services sit in line for an hour to get equipment at a distribution site only to be given uh, one small box of respirators. Since the crisis began, those masks were frighteningly scarce. His crews were often leaning on each other to share. Even now, just to get by, he says they're sanitizing these masks for reuse. When you use it, you threw it away. You know, today there is so um, such a, a commodity to have that those who don't are reusing them. During the daily news conference, Lamont's team says the state still lacks in other areas. Gowns, for whatever reason, gowns seem to still be a challenge. Ziegler says it's true and those gowns are critical for his first responders. The everyday EMS calls uh, for this virus are turning into everyday hazmat calls. Ziegler understands that many of the specific equipment needed during this pandemic wasn't used every day before, but now we know what's needed. He's hoping work will continue to brace for a potential second wave later in the year. Everybody starts stockpiling so we don't have to ever experience this situation again. So the struggle to get some of that gear continues, and we also learned that the state is now low on the nasal swabs that are necessary to do the tests. Officials say other states are in a similar spot. Live above the newsroom, Matthew Campbell, Channel 13 News. Okay, Matthew, thank you very much.